Go ahead. Okay. The leader of the Senate and my own senator too, distinguished Senator Michael Okoyemi Bamidele, the chairman, Senate Committee on Nigerian Army, other well-respected and distinguished senators of the Committee on the Army. Did the Senate please permit me to specially recognize distinguished Senator Olusha Gunseril Fashui, representing Ikiti North, and who is the co-chairman of the Senate Committee on Army. I mean, vice, vice Chairman, sorry. I also recognize and appreciate the Honorable Minister. So before we go into the screening proper, let me make some remarks. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to this auspicious occasion. The screening exercise and confirmation process of the acting Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Olufemi Olatubosun Oluyede. It may be recalled that the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria at its sitting on Tuesday, 26 November 2024, read the request of Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federation, informing the Senate of the nomination of Lieutenant General Olufemi Olatubosun Oluyede for appointment as Chief of Army Staff. In that same letter, Mr. President presented the nominee for, for, for confirmation in accordance with the provision of Section 18, Subsection 1 of the Armed Forces Act Cap A20, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004. Permit me once again to condole you on a, the very sad event that happened to all of us, the late Chief of Army Staff. May his soul rest in peace. Um, we all know the achievements he made while he was alive with us. He has made significant strides in improving the welfare of the Nigerian army. <coughs> Innovations such as the Nigerian army aviation, which he brought, and the operations he led and conducted and commanded, which has resulted in significant you know, security of the country. And it is a known fact that the nation currently is bedeviled by multiplicity of security challenges requiring cogent <coughs> and urgent solutions. I want to use this opportunity to commend the gallantry of the officers and men of the Nigerian Army and the armed forces in general for the successes recorded so far in the war against insurgency and other criminalities within the country. And this they did to the extent that some of them laid their lives for that. Therefore, this screening exercise intends to bring to bear your professional skills, experiences, and expertise based on your strategic security knowledge and vision towards defending Nigeria from external aggression, maintaining its territorial integrity, securing its borders from violation on land, suppressing insurrection, and acting in aid of the civil authorities to restore order, among others. Furthermore, your abilities to offer proposals towards finding solutions for military funding and welfare of personnel will be of interest to this committee. Due to the sensitive nature of security matters, the screening will be conducted in closed door, and so you should feel free to express your vision
for your designate office in solving the needs of the people in the, se in the security sector and the sector itself in order to provide the peace and stability needed for economic growth and development of the country. As we constructively engage in this screening exercise, we expect a robust outcome of deliberations that will form our report and recommendations to the Senate. While as legislators we will continue to establish an effective framework within which to ensure democratic accountability for executive authorities responsible for securing for security sector governance. Finally, I wish to congratulate you on your nomination and also express our appreciation to Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief, for your appointment in this auspicious time of the nation's need for internal security. Thank you all for coming, and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, on this note, I would like the Acting Chief of Army Staff to make some few remarks before we go into the closed session. The Senate Committee on Army, very, very senior members of the committee and of the Senate, uh, gentlemen officers, uh, representative members of the Ministry of Defense, uh, distinguished senators, I'm highly privileged and honored to be here once again. Uh, in this occasion, I want to thank you most sincerely for all the support being given to members of the armed forces. Your support has made a lot of difference in our activities. We want to say a very big thank you. We're like over liver twist. Though it's not a time to ask for more, but wherever we have the opportunity to meet you, we we'll always tell you that we still need more to do. The armed forces as we have it is operating uh, and we'll also need a lot of support to do more. We can see that things are improving and that we believe if we have more, we will do more. On this occasion of the um, uh, tri approval for the acting chief of army staff, uh, he's somebody that I've known, we've been together since 1986 when they met me at the Nigerian Defense Academy. And all through, we have worked together through thick and thin. I know he's somebody who also has the capacity to do the job. We have also worked together with him and the late chief of army staff. Um, so I have no doubt that he's going to hit the ground running. And together with you, we will definitely succeed in this country. Once again, sir, I thank you for the privilege to speak. I'm maybe to also introduce myself as General Christopher Gwabin Musa, the Chief of Defense Staff, Armed Forces of Nigeria, by God's grace. Thank you very much, sir. So, at this juncture, I will ask the press to kindly excuse us. And um, 